Yo, what is going on everyone? It's Professor Pierce here, PP for short. Today I have something that I played quite a while ago, but with a different bit of spice on it, just with some of these new cards that we have here. It is Lost Box deck, but with a palm. So the idea of the Apon card is you attach as much energy as you can to it, and then it'll flip coins up to much up to the amount of energy attached to it, and it'll do 60 damage for each heads. So if you have a lot of energy on it, then it's going to do a lot of damage to the opponent. Uh, so the main thing is uh, figuring out how to get the energy onto the Apon, and I thought the easiest way to do that would be with Mirage Gate and to have a nice backing so a nice backing with like Cramorant for your secondary attackers and stuff like that so you have a good sensible like backbone to uh to the deck i guess you could say plus lost box is just good so it's a uh, pretty pretty decent uh pretty decent background to start with in any deck like if you want to use a card you can pretty much just use it with Lost Box and it pretty much just becomes automatically better. So we'll go ahead and get into this first match here. My opponent has some kind of Tinkaton deck it seems like. Stalling with the Mimikyu's out front it would seem like but we don't have to worry about that since we are playing just a bunch of basic Pokemon and no V's. But that Bravery Charm is pretty annoying because we can't do much there. But we will be able to Artisan for a Comfey. So we'll go ahead and switch into the Comfey and hopefully we get a Chorus's Experiment or something like that. Boom, Shakalaka. All you gotta do is say it and it happens. Never punished. So we'll grab uh, some of these things here. We'll just grab the first three, I guess. The other two don't necessarily matter too much um, I'm gonna grab I think I'm gonna grab a monkey here because I want to get this powered up if possible and then we'll go ahead and switch into this comfy and hope that we get a switch card uh, so we we kind of got a switch card but not really <laughs> so we're gonna have to give that up and pass a turn I was hoping we could get the turn one attack off but we are just shy of that. But we'll hand it back to them and let's see what they have here. They have, uh, they're gonna use my Artisan first of all. And let's see what else. They're gonna get a Mimikyu. They're not gonna get another Tinkaton or maybe not a Curlia either because I thought that's what they would be running but they're not running that it seems like. And, but they are going to evolve it and go ahead and most likely attach an energy to it here. So how are you guys doing today? You guys got snacks? You got drinks? You're just chilling? Maybe at a, maybe at a job or something like that? I'm not really sure what you're doing. Maybe you're doing something totally different. So this is the world's hardest flower selecting, so we don't even get to choose the cool energy because the game hates us so I am just going to attach start attaching to the monkey and pass off the turn because there's not much else I can do we're both kind of in a weird position here because I want him I want him to attack and kill me because I have right hand in my hand but I and I don't want to use a bunch of stuff to switch out my confades and everything and waste all my energy right now and another thing you probably noticed in the early deck list or maybe you didn't because i go so fast and you can't possibly see what is in the deck is uh, there's a lot of energy in here for lost box and so it's it's really good to have a lot of energy in here specifically for the monkey so you can do a lot of damage but also it's really good because radiant greninja can use that energy to just draw you cards constantly. And since you have so much energy in the deck, when you finally get Radiant Greninja, you can constantly get a lot, a lot, a lot of draws because you're gonna constantly have energy in your hand because there's so much in the deck. So my opponent, 
here has found the tank a ton and has found a switch too so my Kung Fei is as good as dead here so that is fine I'm glad it could kill that because I can right hand to my monkey and get some more on him and we should be getting close to Mirage Gate as well um, excuse me um, I think I'm gonna grab a Comfe here instead and retreat into this Comfe and flower selecting one more time here and we will happily grab the chorus I don't know if I want to use it though uh, I think I'm gonna use the Raihan here and I think I'm gonna grab another Mirage Gate for well yeah I actually need the switch so we'll go ahead and Mirage Gate first and then we'll switch and we'll hit this thing for hopefully 240 damage I don't see that happening because they all have to land on heads but we can only hope so we will flip the coin and three out of one is not bad we will take that because that is more than half of its health so we just got to do that again and it's dead and another great thing about this monkey too is why it's so annoying is its ability its ability is if it takes any damage from attacks then you have to flip a coin and if heads you prevent that damage from happening so the fact that this 90 hp pokemon is so weak it can do a lot of damage based on how much energy is on it and it can just basically dodge an attack so the fact that your biggest hitter in the deck is only a 90 hp card that can dodge attack successfully 58 percent of the time is pretty is pretty interesting to say the least i would say it's pretty cool so he's gonna boss out my sableye which is fine by me because i rather have the energy on this monkey up um obviously i could have taken out some stuff on the bench but it's not like i had that many in the lost zone at the moment to save why but we are getting close because i will attach to there and then chorus here and i think i'm going to grab these energy i still haven't found my greninja yet which is surprising but we'll put these guys back in the deck i guess i could have waited a little bit to do that but it's not too bad so i just have to get 180 again so i need three heads which would be a little over half so that is awesome so we got the three heads knocked the tinkaton out and they have only a secondary attacker at the moment to attack us with um Unfortunately, we did have to attach to this thing so the Mimikyu can knock us out with Ghost Eye for 70. Uh, but I will take that trade any day of the week. So they're going to evolve into Tinkatuff and evolve into Zatu and Clairvoyant Scent. So they're getting they're getting set up now finally. And let's see what else they're going to do here. They're going to attach the Mimikyu and knock me out, most likely. Yes, they're going to ghost die. And since it's damage counters and not a damage from an attack, it's going to go through my ability, which is pretty annoying. But it's not terrible. We'll draw our cards with flower selecting here. We'll finally get Radiant Greninja here. So we can finally draw some more cards with it but what i'm going to do actually is i am going to go ahead and mirage gate to the radiant greninja because this card is absolutely broken and then i'm going to attach to it and conceal cards and we have the switch here so i think i want to iono them just because their hand is so big 
Um, I want a chorus, but I'm, I might as well Iono. It's probably the safer bet because they have three cards too. So we did get a monkey, so that's not bad. Uh, we don't really need the Jirachi and the Manaphy, but we will be able to knock out the Tinkatuff and the Mimikyu here. So that'll be two things we knock out, and getting rid of their biggest attacker is nice. And then now they only have the three cards left in their hand to work with here. And they can't knock us out this turn. So that was a big power move, because Greninja is just freaking busted beyond all belief in my opinion so they have a stadium which isn't going to affect me too much let's see what else they have here probably not a lot all right so they have a boss so they're gonna take the ko here is what they want to do which is a bit annoying, but is fine. Uh, I'm not too worried about it because it would have been hard to build up the APOM again. I don't have a reliable way to switch, so I think I'm just going to put out the Cramorant this turn. And we will Greninja back. Or Greninja back. We'll Mirage Gate back to the Greninja here. And then we will attack this and pass because that's basically all we can do here so they don't have a lot to do here either because that iono definitely screwed them up which was uh you know was the plan so that's what i was trying to do so let's see what they have here. They don't have much considering the atoned silence upon their part. So we'll go ahead and get rid of the Kumpe, which we don't need anymore. And they're going to grab a Radiant Alakazam. So that is not what I expected in this deck because this deck usually one-shots everything. So I wasn't really expecting that. So they're going to attach to it and draw some more cards. I guess that's why they were grabbing it. And then they have an escape rope. So I think... I don't think they can kill me either way. But I'm going to just give them my other cram here. Do they have another energy to attack? They do have another energy to attack me here. And then they have a... Bravery charm, another bravery charm, which is pretty annoying, but it doesn't matter too much because they don't kill me here. Um, I guess I'll put this down, it doesn't really matter, and then I'll just put the mana feed down just in case, and then we'll whack this thing, and that will ensure game because at this point they would need to kill Radiant Greninja to stay in the game, so they would need a boss. And a way to do 130 damage, which they cannot do because I have lowered my hand size down and the Mimikyu cannot take out my Radiant Greninja. So their best play is probably just to pass. Because if they kill anything else, then I can just bring in the Greninja and kill them. So I'm not really sure what to say for them i think it's just checkmate but they are just gonna pass off to me and i unfortunately just got the switch top deck so i'm never punished for some reason because that makes total sense to me um but i guess we would have drawn it sooner or later with all the switches we have in the deck and we will go ahead and kill these two guys and take the last two prize cards so that i don't know definitely sealed the deal if not everything else that Greninja did there. So we'll go ahead and get into the second match here. Seems like we are facing a Charmander or Charizard deck. We are starting out with Monkey and a not too bad a hand. 
It's not not insane. It's not the supporter I want to see for sure, but it could be worse. So we are facing Arcanine here, and so the Charmander is probably the Pogo Zard. And this is like this one. That first one I did was on the ranked ladder, but this one is on the on the casual ladder, and this is like 90% of just what you see on the casual ladder all the time, is you just see these Arcanine decks. And I am totally tired of playing against them for sure. Then you're probably like, wait, wait, why don't you just do, do it on the ranked ladder? It's like, well, the difference being um, the ranked ladder is scary. Very scary. But <laughs> in all seriousness, um, we're gonna grab this chorus here off this flower selecting, which is awesome. And I don't think we're gonna need Jirachi for this deck because he doesn't have anything like that to attack us. And we'll grab the monkey, and I guess we'll start building up this monkey here and then pass off the turn. So let's see what he has here. If he has uh, like a Bidu for something. I mean, he hasn't played anything. If I'm guessing he has some sort of support, supporter card that he wants to play, though, that he could not play earlier. Because, you know, first turn clause. So he does have an energy, but that will not be enough to kill me because this thing does damage based on how much damage is done to it as you guys probably know by now. Uh, but he does have a research, so he will be drawing some new cards here for sure. Uh, hopefully, nothing too crazy. He has a Moltres, and he's gonna Ultra Ball for, I would say probably a Bidoof or a Charmander or something. Um, or maybe a, maybe a Mew in here, maybe he changed the deck up a little bit. He's going to get rid of those fire energies, probably because he has Magma Basin in here as well. But also, it's just decent fodder anyway. So let's see what he is going to grab here. He is going to grab a Charmander. So he's going to place down L Charmander. I wonder if that's how you say. I wonder if you just say, like, you know, the Pokemon's names in different languages. So, like, because in Pik Pikachu, in Japanese, it's just Pikachu. So I wonder if it's, like, Tropius is the name of Tropius in... I don't know. Pro probably. So he's just going to swing at me for a little bit of damage because he cannot do a lot of damage here. We will grab the... I'm trying to grab the Psychic instead. He'll grab the Psychic Energy instead here. And we will retreat into the Cram and attach some more energy to this. And then we will just poke him for 110. So he will be able to kill us here next turn, but I have some backup attackers getting ready to kill him here so i'm not really sure why he got uh, what he did earlier i don't know if he has any bidoofs or anything like that in his deck so that's kind of up to him whatever he chose but we're gonna flower select again and grab the switch cart so we can heal off this 30 percent as well And this time we're just going to go into the other Confe because we have a free retreat with it. Um, I think I'm going to take the water energy this time. But now we can Mirage Gate, so we should be able to kill this Arcanine if we get lucky enough with how much energy we can use on this thing. So we have five energy. We only need a couple of heads to kill this thing. So let's see, we got... 
one, two, three. So we got three out of two. So that's good. So that's, I think, just enough to kill it here. That's what we needed. We needed a three out of two. So I'm glad we didn't, glad we didn't whiff that. Monkey's, monkey's treating us right. So let's see what we got here. So he's definitely down a lot of things because he hasn't played a supporter or anything. He doesn't have any type of... Um, what's the word? Like, you know, when you have something that makes you draw cards. Like, um, <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. He doesn't have something that lets him draw cards. And he's going to go ahead and attack us for 20 whole damage. But our monkey's going to say no to that because he does not like 20 damage. So we will go ahead and... I think we'll probably just attach attach an attack here because there's not much else I want to do. Uh, I want to build I want to build up this thing's attack just in case something gets evolved here, and there's no way that we're going to not kill this thing here. So that is taken out, and we just need to kill this Charmander, and that'll be game. So let's see what my opponent can do here. What did he top deck? Anything to save him? So he top decked our research, so that is definitely helpful to say the least. Is he gonna find a rare candy Charizard or something like that this turn? So here is finding a lot of his mons. I guess he just all of them are at the bottom of the deck or something like that. Um, yeah, I still haven't seen a lot of supporters from him either. I see. I saw he had a couple in his early hand, but. He must not be playing too many here. He is going to attach and retreat, actually, which I didn't see coming. What is he going to retreat into? He's going to retreat into these... Why? I'm not really sure why he would do that, because that's just giving me a bigger target to attack here. Because I will use these last two to Mirage Gate to this thing. And then attach and we'll go ahead and just attack this thing and we only need 210 and we can do 540 so <laughs> I I think it's safe to say that we can get this thing so that was still in our favor anyway for 300 damage so that is gonna kill the monkeys so that's why I was saying I'm not sure why he placed that up of all things because if that dies then we get to take two prize cards so he's gonna put out the Radiant Charizard this time for sure. So that'll kill us if we don't dodge the attack here. So he has an Arvin. So he did top deck another supporter card. So I guess he is actually finding stuff now because he was just getting kind of screwed earlier. What is he going to grab? Going to grab like an Ultra Ball and a Defiant Span. He doesn't really need the Defiant Span at this point, so he should probably just use that as fodder. Ultra Ball fodder here. So he does have B Barrel, so he just didn't want to get the B Doof and B Barrel earlier, which was just a big mistake in all honesty. That should be the first thing that you should try to get up so you don't get locked into situations like this where you're just completely screwed for cards. Just a bit of food for thought uh, against this guy. So he is going to grab his Arcanine, which, once again, is probably not the best card to grab here, but he's going to do what he do. And he's going to Concussion Blast us here. And we are not going to dodge it, unfortunately. But we still have game in hand because what we can do here is we can bring in a Comfey. We can... Let's we'll, we'll see. Let's just see if we get this off the flower selecting here. Uh, actually, I guess it doesn't matter because we'll... Raihan for this other cross switcher piece since that was in the deck and then we'll cross switcher out 
the Charmander and put in the Cramorant and then swing at the Charmander here, taking out his Charmander and gaining our last prize card, which happened to be Greninja, which we still haven't seen any use from pretty much just because he has either been in our prizes or just not really here for us. And so we're going to go ahead and get into the third and final game here. Uh, we are facing some sort of grass box deck here, which we always like to see. So is he going to hit us with the... I, I thought he was going to hit us with the good old attach and pass, but he has a battle VIP pass. So that will not be the case because he does have a Bidoof and a Mew. So this person definitely has been taking notes from the last match and is getting out his Bidoof as early as possible. Uh, so we don't have the best hand in the world. We, I don't really want to Iono them because I'm not sure what they have. Um, but they're going to boost Shake, which is something you don't see very often either. And they're just going to go ahead and get out their B-Barrel, which is pretty smart. We'll go ahead and place both my monkeys down and we'll chorus to try to get some more things in the discard pile. Um, we're going to grab one each instead. And then just attach and pass here because we can't do that much. I don't know if I want to even play this Manaphy here. Because it's just going to take up bench space. And it's not going to be able to block anything. So he's going to Mysterious Tail for Vessel. And grab some energy here most likely. But first he's going to Arvin. So what is he going to Arvin for? I guess like Ultra Ball. And, I don't know. Maybe like a, um, a TM Evolution or something like that. Considering he's using Boost Shake, he probably isn't using the TMs, but he very well could. Just knowing how crazy some people's decks can be. I say that as my decks aren't absolute nonsense either. But what is he grabbing? I guess he's just checking through his deck right now to see what to see what he has here. So Ultra Ball and Panic Masks, that's the other thing. That's that makes sense based off this Serena that he is most likely playing here. So he's going to place it on there and thin the hand out with Ultra Ball and grab some more cards with B-Barrel pretty soon. So smart plan for sure. We're still kind of stuck in an awkward position here because we don't really want to Iono them into a better hand. Um, and we don't have a way to call or send more things to the lost zone, so we're kind of just stuck coercing over and over and over. So he is going to get everything off, though. He's going to get the switch, and then he's going to Icicle Soul the Jirachi, which is smart because I could evolve the Apoms into something, and then their HP would go up. So we're just going to chorus. Uh, I guess we'll just get rid of those two. Not really the best choice. Because we're kind of screwed here again. We're just... <laughs> I'm just going to spread out the energy. So if he bosses something, then he can. Um, I'll put down the Sableye. And then I'm going to Rope, I think. Because... I want... I want him to at least try to work for this kill here so he does he just got the Meowskarada I guess and he's going to be rail some more so I hope he doesn't get a DTE or a grass energy which is probably unlikely here so he does have the grass energy so that is going to kill our Jirachi on the bench here which is fine. So I like the strategy. It's really cool. You you put everything down to 30 and then you just use bouquet magic and you kill it. I think it's pretty interesting. Uh, so I like my like my opponent's deck here, needless to say. So he is going to Gardenia and he's not going to grab any energy there because he did not 
get any. He's going to grab another Mon here. Probably a baby. Yep, there is the baby. And then... I guess he doesn't have a DTE in hand because he would have used it already, I would assume. So he'll probably just pass it off to us, which is awesome because this will actually give us somewhere to go. So we will chorus and we will grab some things here. We can finally start, finally start shaking things up. So I'm going to place this on here, and then I am going to switch into Chorus, into, into Chorus, oh my goodness, I've been saying Chorus too much. Um, I'm going to go into Cramorant, and then attack. So hopefully we can keep getting these attacks off, and hopefully he can't draw anything of use. So let's see what he has here off this B-Barrel. So he does have a Grass, their Grass Energy. But he's going to place it on the Serena and not on the Mass Prada. So that's telling me that we're, unless he gets a switch here, that we're not going to get attacked this turn. So he very well could get a switch card here, which is probably the most likely scenario. But he's not going to get a switch card. He's going to get Rare Candy and Rare Candy for another Serena and then attach the Panic Mask as well to draw five new cards. So that could get him a switch if he has one. So I guess he didn't get a switch off that because of the of how much waiting he's doing here. So we're gonna see what he's gonna do. He'll probably just pass off to us, which is great because then we'll get another 110 damage on this thing. Oh, see, he did get a Grass Energy, so that's kind of annoying. He's going to attack... Let's see, what is he going to attack? He's going to attack the Mana Fee here. So, that's fine. So, he's going to pass now. Let's see what we grab here. We'll grab another Mirage Gate. All right, at this point, I'm just... I just have to play the game. So, I am going to Iono here. So, at least he'll get five cards and can't B-Barrel anything. So, we really didn't get anything decent which is pretty annoying so we finally, we finally found a comfy but it's kind of too late and we don't have any switches or anything like that so we're gonna just go ahead and spit and hope that he doesn't have um a switch or anything like that and another thing you may have noticed about this deck list too is it has i just forgot to put boss in here you can definitely run it with boss um i just forgot to like you could take out some energy easily and put it in put in some boss but i forgot to put in boss and i've been running it with without boss and it's been working really easily uh but it's kind of annoying because you know some people will switch out or whatever and you don't have a way to gust it up or whatever uh but we can only hope that we can attack this thing now versus if they move it out of the active spot, then we might be screwed. But that is what Sableye is for. So it's not like the end of the world if they do move it because we can Sableye it. So they don't actually have the double turbo. So I'm not sure why they placed the grass on this Meow Sparata. Maybe they have a Rhyhon in hand or something like that. So I'm going to place another energy on monkey and then we are going to take some prize cards here six and five is usually what i go for first so we finally found the greninja so he's back uh i say back like we've ever played him at this point but um we did play him did play him in that first game pretty well so he has another rare candy male sparata so this guy has just been doing rare candy and rare candy and rare candy over and over and over um, so he's been getting pretty lucky, but he has finally found his DTEs. Uh, but he is slowly running out of cards in the deck. Thank goodness he has the Super Rod for him. So we can keep in mind that um, he's running low on cards. So he's going to Arzen for... Let's see, what is he going to get? He's going to get the Sprigatito. So... I guess next turn he might yeah, he might have another Rick Candy Mouse Brother. I don't know if that's 
all four of his rare candies or not. I I wasn't paying attention. I, I did check at some point during this match. I just don't remember where. Uh, so he's going to Icicle Soul me, which is pretty annoying because I can't do anything here. So I'm going to... Um, I meant to, I did this out of order. I meant to, because I wasn't sure if I was going to retreat or not, but I, I meant to put this on here, retreat, and then super rod. But that's neither here nor there when energy's not going to kill me. So we're going to get flower selected, and we are not going to grab anything of importance. So we are unfortunately just going to have to pass off the turn here. Because I could attack... I couldn't attack with the Cramorant, and there's no point attacking with the monkeys because they don't have enough energy on them to actually do any damage here. And so he's just going to go ahead and kill us. So he definitely doesn't want this Cone Fade play, which is fair. So, so I can't check how many I have at the moment, but we'll go ahead and put up the monkey. We have seven in here, so we do have Mirage Gate. And speaking of Mirage Gate, we do have that. So we can Mirage Gate 2 the monkey here and then we can Greninja and then we can super rod these stuff back into the deck and then we'll Colrus I was going to say it's not the deck here but um, I guess I should have taken that I suppose uh, but we'll grab this this and this, not a Mirage Gate, but not the end of the world. I can still attach to the energy, so five. So I can't kill this thing, because I can only do 300, but he still has to attack me here and do damage. So let's see how many flits we get. We get four, so this thing is cracked. This thing has been popping off tonight. Um, it definitely depends on how many flips you get for how good this deck is. But right now, it, he is popping off. So, can he dodge this attack is the question. So, he is going to get his last Meowth Karata here. And, of course, this is his last rare candy. Um, I was getting I was getting a little worried about it, too. I was like, how many rare candies does this guy have? But it is fine. Because he is going to bouquet magic and kill my Cramorant. So, that's a little annoying. But, at the same time, he only has four cards left in the deck. So, I... I can just kill these things pretty easily. Um, I just kill these two Meowth Bradas and then I pretty much win. But let's see what he's going to do. He has another bouquet magic. Does he have? He can't use another one because he's already used them all up. But he's going to incisor, so that was a bold move because now he only has one card left in the deck. So I think I'm just going to try to stall him out. Honestly, I I don't know if he has anything else. In the, to put stuff back in the deck, or like Iono or whatever. Alright, so he does have another Panic Mask, which is pretty annoying. But let's see. I think I think we can just stall this out, because there's not really a reason not to at this point. But he is going to switch. I wonder why he switched here. Um, I guess he just didn't want to lose. Or, I mean, I wonder why he would switch into the Scratching Nails. Um, so let's see. We aren't gonna get. We are gonna get hit here. We're not gonna dodge it. Um, and, but he's only gonna do 80 damage, so we're not gonna die here, which is kind of funny. So we'll put we'll put him down. We'll Greninja here, and so we did get the Mirage Gate, so that was good. So we'll Mirage Gate to the active one, and we should have enough to kill this thing depending on what we get here so full tilt let's go we're gonna swing two four five six so six into this thing that is plenty enough damage to kill it but that would be just enough to kill it actually which is crazy to see so we are doing a lot of damage to this thing um, but he does have these panic masks now which are pretty annoying because we can't do any damage to him that way but he has just ran himself out of cards so if those four cards in his hand aren't an Iono or a Super Rod uh, I think we are good to go so he is going to attack us we are going to successfully dodge the attack 
and then we can just attack him here i guess just for uh shits and giggles and see how much damage it would do here let's see how many flips we get one two three four five so five s that's pretty good too but not like it matters because he has decked himself out that was definitely a close one we if he didn't deck himself out i still think we could have won depending on what he had left he just ran himself out of resources i guess is the best way to put it but uh, i hope you guys enjoyed this video leave it a like if you did you know and all that jazz <laughs> i guess i'm so bad at outros and you guys know it all right peace out pp out